Today, what I'm going to show you is how to submit a calculation. It's a very simple calculation, and I will show how to draw the molecule that I want and how to make the input file the shell file and submit that to a cluster. So I'm starting with this benzyl alcohol molecule and what I want to do is to solvate it with dioxane. So I'm going to edit, add fragment, molecules and I can search for simple compounds and I can choose dioxane here. Without closing this window I can click in several places, I can zoom out and I can add several molecules. The molecules have all the same orientation, so maybe I can move them around slightly. I choose this drag atoms button and the whole molecule option and then I move the molecule and I rotate it with these buttons on the right in random directions. What I can do now is choose a Van der Waals type visualization. In this play I choose big atoms and I can see if any molecules are really touching. I don't want them to touch because that could lead to weird behavior in the initial optimizations. I'm going to optimize the structure so this has only to be a approximate guess. Now I see nothing is really touching, no different molecules. I go back to my usual display and I will copy this into an input file. So I go to coordinates, these coordinates have numbers so I choose coordinates format 12 digits I put copy, that copies all the atoms, and I will go to notepad. So here, this is another previous file that I have. What I'm going to do is erase all the coordinates. I am going to paste the coordinates here. And I will change some names and annotations. I save this. All this, I don't really need it for this calculation. This is a very standard calculation. This is some annotation, dioxan, and this is going to be again the name of the file. This is a three-letter code that I use to distinguish between calculations. My previous calculation was in Tolvin, but this would be in dioxan. Here I have a shell script that contains a series of options. I'm using 12 cores on the node in the cluster that I will be using. These are different options. This doesn't matter too much because it's going to be different or specific to the computer you use or the university or research center cluster you use. So don't pay too much attention. This will not work for you, but it's just an example of how I submit the calculations. What I'm going to call is ORCA 5.02 and give the input file that I made and it will produce an output file of the same name. So now I go to WinSCP, which is the program that I use for moving files around. So I have the files here. What I'm going to do is go back to one folder and I will make a new folder with the same name as my calculation. I prefer to do that in order to keep all my files well classified. So then I copy these two files here and in the terminal I have the different calculations. So what I do is S batch and submit the shell file. If I now write SQE, I actually see that my file did not run. The previous file is running. So what's going on? There has been an error. So it did not recognize dioxan as a word for the uh, polarized continuum model. So I'm going to check in the manual what is the actual correct name for this solvent. Okay, so in this table this is for the CPCM options. 
uh, the list of solvents it's kind of small I thought that there would be more solvents so dioxan is not to be found here I could define it by defining the dielectric constant and the refractive index but I'm going to choose actually THF which I think it's similar enough for these purposes as I already will have an explicit solvation layer of dioxane molecules and I'm only interested in the effect of those molecules in the uh, central benzyl alcohol I would say that THF is good enough for this so I go back to the file and I will just change this for THF I will copy again the files and I will submit the calculation again it will overwrite all previous calculations so now it is running so that's it for today thank you